Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nancy Drew Message in a Haunted Mansion. This is the third installment in the Nancy Drew series, and it's our first game with sound. Like, this is so magical. You won't have to listen to me narrate everything. All right, so we're going to start a new game. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy welcome Drew. Welcome to my latest We're going to do Junior mystery. Detective because I suck. Ooh, spooky. Right in time for Halloween. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gather, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. Well, that all is just very ominous. So here we are in Nancy's room, which she explained is full of Chinese furnishings. So we'll give you a full 360 here. Rushes. I know, look at these two little dragons on the bed. They're like, hey, what's up? I don't know, they just look like friends, like having a good conversation. Right, so we're gonna look over here at this little poem on this piece of tapestry. So let's have Nancy read to us. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the 10 daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. How mysterious. And what's even more mysterious is that a few of the words are highlighted. So better write down those words because guess what? They've got to be important because why else would they be standing out from the rest? And if you back up and look at this little dragon statuette, you see like the inscription where it says daughters of diligence earn the gold of nine dragons. And there's this little Chinese symbol. If you click on it, when the ten daughters are reunited in order. So Nancy recognizes that it's tying back to one of the highlighted words of the poem. So this is the Chinese symbol for daughters. So throughout the entire game, we're going to be finding Chinese symbols that correlate with the highlighted words. And we are going to need them for the end of the game. So we'll just keep making notes of those. I'm loving all these little dragon furnishings. And then over here we have Nancy's luggage, which oddly enough is locked, but this journal that has an actual lock on it is not locked. That's just always bugged me. And this is just where Nancy's going to be keeping notes of what's been going on, what is up with like the suspects, but it's kind of pointless unless you get stuck in the game, then I guess you could look back and be like, what have I done? What have I done? That was a Revenge of the Sith uh, reference. So we're going to go meet some people in the house. So first let's go talk to Rose Green. She's right in here. Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I feel like Nancy has such a go-get-em attitude because I would be like... <sighs> I guess. I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. Seems like a pretty reasonable dream. I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, 
but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. An odd thing to say. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. And already we're being put to work. So we're gonna check out that inlay puzzle and it's right behind Rose. And the first time I played this game, it literally took me like a day to figure out that the puzzle was behind her. It's like, Rose, what do you want me to do? You literally just match up the pieces until they light up. Cause if they don't light up and like line up perfectly, then you don't beat it. But as long as everything's lighting up, then you're good to go. You have to have a very steady hand about it. It's like looking back on these puzzles and looking at the puzzles that are in the games now, it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I love these. Done. I did it. Oh, good job, Nancy. Right. Yeah, I'll just talk to Rose and be like, hey, I got it done. How's that inlay puzzle coming along? I finished it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Thanks for your help. All right, so we're gonna explore a little more and find some more people. This is just a little magazine. So in case you wanted to create a beautiful four poster bed in 10 easy steps, that is the article for you. Here is the schedule where everybody posts their availability or when they're here. So it looks like right now we can talk to everybody except for Lewis. So we'll have to catch him at noon. Okay, and this is so embarrassing, but I never knew you could open this drawer until literally like this year. But it's important because look at this. When the bird of fire can see again. So this is the Chinese symbol for fire. All right, and then it's just saying that the house is uh, insured for $1 million against fire or earthquake damage. So that, that's a lot of money. All right, let's go meet Charlie because he's right uh, next door. He's right here. Go down to the basement. Hey, Charlie. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. You must have a lot of experience to work on such a big house. I know, but I learned quickly. Even Lewis said so. Have you met him yet? He's helping Rose with the house. Yeah, he showed me how to do some of the remodeling work. That's nice of him. No, I haven't met him yet. Does he work for Rose? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents on this project? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. Well, he just avoided the question perfectly. So we'll look around the basement. We've got a piano. You can tickle the ivories. Oh, whoops. And that was my rendition of What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. You're welcome. Take a look, see in the piano bench.
And we have another Chinese symbol. And hidden beneath a river of colors. So that is the symbol for river. Make a note of that. Here we have an article, and you can pause it if you want to read it. It's just about um, women, and this is obviously an old article, like back in the 1900s, and it's about women going up on stage and everybody's appalled because, uh-oh, we don't want women up on the stage. We want them doing women's stuff. So in case you wanted to read that, you can do that on your own time. <laughs> and then this over here. Um, it's literally just some drink recipes in case you wanted to make some minty festival punch or a ginger whisper. That's great for parties, but we don't need that, obviously. So in this video, we are going to talk to one more person, and that will be Abby. And Abby's upstairs. And then if we have time, we'll explore the house a little more. Because it is definitely very creepy. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. It's definitely a good conversation starter. And you do? I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls. And a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Who could this restless spirit be? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Let's be a smart mouth. Well, you'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Oh, Do you Nancy. dare mock the supernatural? Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we have more time, so let's just explore the house a little more. We won't, like, look at everything, obviously. Um, just so this video is not a million years long. And then here's the tiles that we need to scrape off the ceiling, but we do need to find a paint scraper because all we have is a key. Some creaky stairs. Oh. Oh. So this is just the front room. Um, we'll go into the parlor. So this is just the parlor that's like right outside the library and again we're gonna look at everything in the next video and then this is the library and we'll go in there when we're about to meet Lewis. All right so we'll just end the video here. So next video we'll definitely explore the house more. We'll get to know Lewis too. He's the last suspect we need to meet and then it sounds like we're having a bit of a seance tonight. So, you know, maybe that'll happen next video too. So look out for that next video and thank you for watching.